Paul Yeoman here, owner of the Basement Fitness Center here in Volant, PA. Today I wanted to go over certain kind of resistance here in the bench press. Right now I have some chains. So when we hook these up to the bar, as you go down, the weight will slowly decrease. And then as you're coming up, the weight will increase. Now it's a bit more of a choppy motion with chains, but it's going to help you work on your lockout and so on. And then over here we have your different kind of bands. So obviously the gray band here, you're going to have way more resistance. It has up to, I believe, 150, 160 pounds of resistance. It's your peak lockout. And then we'll downscale to the orange band here. That one's going to be about 80 to 100 pounds at your lockout. Now these green bands are green super bands. They're a little bit thicker. You might not be able to tell here. But these ones are about 60 to 80. But they're also a little bit smaller, easier to carry and travel. That's why... We like to use those as well, so we use them to stretch. Now, the red ones here, much, much smaller. We're about 40 to 50 with those, a full lockout. And then we have the orange mini bands here, which is like 20 pounds at best in lockout. But I'm going to show you guys here how to set these up and then be able to correlate those into your bench press and help with any sticking points and so on. All right, guys, so I want to go over the chains here first that I showed you guys. Now, what I have is a homemade setup here to clip the chains onto the bar so you know slide on just like so and you can clip as many chains as you want on there. Now if you look at ProLock collars they actually have machine ones that you can buy with clips and everything on there. I would recommend those you know for anyone who can't fabricate their own metal or lifting products and so on. Either way when you put these chains on you'll see I'm going to push these back and then when I give you my demonstration we do that because with this it's going to be easier when we unrack the weight and then the chains will be directly under the bar where if you had the chains way out over here now if I lift this bar off the chains are pulling the bar away from you so we're still trying to mimic a good bar pass in our bench press I'm going to show you guys that here in just a second alright so we're going to have Nathaniel here uh, perform one of the chain bench presses why we like to use the chains is for stability and acceleration of the bar and when you see him on racket the bar is going to want to sway and we're going to want to make sure that he holds the bar as steady as possible for a controlled descent and then the weight is going to decrease on the way down then he's going to have to accelerate it up but in a controlled manner and then the links will come up off the floor increasing as we go so Nathaniel's going to, he's going to go ahead and do a few reps here so it's your normal bench press setup he's going to unrack the weight he's going to control it go ahead and give the controlled descent and then from here he's going to want to accelerate the bar up. But obviously in a controlled manner. You see how the bar shook a little bit too? Go ahead and do another rep. So the bar there is going to obviously sway with the chains and it's going to engage the stability muscles in your shoulder. You can go ahead and rack it there, Nathaniel. In your shoulders. So it's actually going to help you build a stronger bench press. Now obviously you're not going to be able to lift as much weight, but that's the point of it. So now we can actually throw a different variation in there, lift a little bit lighter and a little bit safer, but increase your one rep max and work on certain sticking points. Alright, now I want to show you guys how we're going to set up with the bands. Now there are different ways to do it. Um, depending on how many band pegs that you have, usually there's two. On this penalty rack here, there's three. So you can set it up in a bunch of different ways. So you can set it up in an L pattern where it goes underneath and up. So the resistance quite isn't as high now what we like to do here is we like to make an X pattern where we'll go underneath, pull the band, and then over the middle peg, under the outer pegs. Now that's going to give me more resistance to the bar, but that's what we're looking for here. We want a little bit more. Alright, as you guys see here we have our band set up, and then Nathaniel's going to go ahead and set up just like a normal bench press. Now when he unracks it, it's not going to be quite as unstable as the chains, but he's still going to want to control descent here on his press. And then he's still going to want to accelerate the bar up. And then go ahead and do one more rep here. Now as you guys can see, it's a lot more stable and smoother. Go ahead and rack Nathaniel. And what the chains are. So it depends on what you're looking for. I personally think the bands are better for acceleration work just because it is smoother, but it's going to add tension as you go up a lot better than the chains would because the chains are very like choppy and hard to move and it's going to want to shake and move around so it really depends on what you're looking for. Alright now I want to show you guys a reverse band setup. Now there's not a whole lot of gyms that have reverse band pegs like we do up here. 
Um, you know, a lot of your powerlifting gyms or athletic training facilities do. But what we're going to want to do is just hook the band up to the center peg and then take our band here and we're going to pull it down and around the weight just like that. All right, and then with our reverse band set up here, for any of you guys looking to really overload your bench press, as you guys can tell, the bands will be lifting up on the bar. It's a really good and safe way to overload and try to improve your one rep max, but like I said, safely, and then Nathaniel here is gonna set up just like he would in any other bench press. And with this, when he unracks it, it's gonna be a nice controlled descent, and he's gonna to wanna to accelerate the bar up. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more there, Nathaniel. As you guys can see, it accelerates up for him. Go ahead and rack the weight, and it's gonna help him lift the weight up. Now, this setup roughly is gonna give you about 40 pounds of help off of your chest, but obviously as you press, kind of just like the bands when they're pulling down, it's gonna increase the weight, but in a different way, where this one's helping you versus the other one pulling down against you. All right, you guys are probably asking why we uh, set up the chains and the bands today, but I wanted to show you guys some other exercises that correlated with my last video of the sticking points in the bench press. These ones are gonna help you guys with the halfway and fully locking out sticking points. And these are some of our favorite exercises. And that's why I wanted to show you guys how to set up the bands and the chains properly and then how to perform the lift properly so that you don't get hurt. Because I wanna keep giving you guys this information for your benefit so that you guys improve your bench press. And then this is gonna end our bench press series here. And then I wanna focus on the squat or the deadlift and I wanna leave it up to you guys. Go ahead and comment in the video. You can DM us, whatever. We wanna focus on you guys and what you wanna see. Mm-hmm.